All right. So I've been uploading a lot of different videos today. Because <clears throat> I want to bring you some information and I owe that I owe it to all of you. I know a lot of you have been asking and saying, hey, when are you going to make new videos and stuff? So I'm going to show you something there. I'm going to explain to you. <clears throat> something that on the video before I talked about inner circles. <clears throat> okay. I always talk about Mayan Aztec tradition. Okay, so this is an example of a work uh, that I'm doing. Of course, I'm not going to disrespect my clients and I cover that person's face. But I'm going to have you come a little bit closer here. Okay, where you're going to see the symbols that we're doing in this work. Okay. And the reasons why you see me or why you see those symbols around, okay, is because I'm working the four elements. I'm working the four protection side of that person. Each symbol, okay, for example, the first one here, okay, represents the God of past. For example, sickness, okay? Right here represents the male energy of God of death, okay? Death itself, okay? Which is the difference. Right there represents the energy of the spirit of the animal spirit that brings that energy, that spirit into the underworld. The one on top that you see over there represents the four elements. Represents earth, wind, fire, and so on. Okay? Uh, you guys should know the four elements. Okay? Now, the little designs, the wiggly, wiggly lines, is because I'm sending this energy through water. And I'm sending this energy through air and representing the time that I'm doing, okay? Representing either night or day, okay? And I go back again. Um, something that I didn't mention, sorry. One of them represents the God of the moon, okay? I'm going to stop there. It represents the God of the moon because of the time that I'm doing and, and how the moon is right now. And then in the middle, I place the photo of the person that I'm working. Okay. Uh, is this negative work? Yes. Is she doing that negative work? No. I am. Okay. Every work that you do in front of her, she's not doing anything. She's just there as a mentor. She's just there looking at you, okay? Because you are her and she is you. So every type of work that you do, you're doing it on your own. You're doing it yourself. It's your energies, your vibrations that you're sending, how you visualize and your emotions that you are sending to that person, okay? But this is something that I wanted to bring to you when I talk about traditional Armani, no, get in the circle. Sorry, my chihuahua was very, um, they love to see what the hell I'm doing, but you don't want to have anything get in the circle because it will interrupt that job, that energy, okay? Now, why am I doing this at a certain time, okay? Because at a certain time, and if you know anything about magic, about spiritual work, you should know the times where the spirit of that person is a rest. Because in the United States, it might be one in the morning, 12 midnight, but in the country where that person is, it's already three in the morning. That person is has a big possibility that that person is already resting, is already asleep. And that's the time 
where you want to do this type of work. Okay? Even if it's healing, that's the time. Because the person's brain okay, is relaxed. It's relaxed. It could, it could receive more energy more easily than when it's awake. Okay? The defense system are down. Okay? Things that why when you initiate to something and your body is prepared, an initiation, your body is prepared. So when you are asleep, you always are being protected. Okay? So this is when I talk about the inner circles of mysteries that you learn. Now, I'm not trying to promote inner circles. What I'm trying to teach here is a traditional Aztec spell working. Okay? Um, there is a famous symbol that's going on out there. They say that's the Santa Muerte's um, sigil, which is from Carlos Montenegro. That has nothing to do with Santa Muerte. That's something that has to do with Palo Mayombe and something that Mr. Montenegro uh, made up. Okay? But again, you have the moon, the energy of the moon, God, and what stage that is, which is right on top. You got the God, the God of sickness and pestilent okay you have the god itself male energy of death working as well within the front of her is the female energy okay and then you have the animal spirit okay that you work with yourself in my case the animal spirit that i work with is the panther okay um the pantera so I'm throwing in that, sending my animal spirit, remember, because we are the one doing the job, sending my animal spirit after this particular person, okay? Um, is this a real job? Yes, it is. Um, you know, it, it has done already. Um, it's the certain times that you work. Um, there are certain hours that you can work, for example, from 3 in the morning all the way to 5. Um, the golden hour, the death hour. Um, you can even stretch it from 2 in the morning so you can start the job. So by 3 in the morning, you already have the job going on, okay? So a lot of us that work this type of um, spell working, whether it be in any tradition, you know that we are always up at this time. This is the time uh, where we're doing our things, okay? So I wanted to bring to you a little bit of Aztec traditional spell working with Mitsikasikwa. Um, can you do this with um, the New Age? The problem with this is this old gods, this ancient gods, okay, one, want you to try to speak their language, okay? Um, the second, which I'm not going to go through that in this video, okay, the second thing they didn't believe in Christianity. They had nothing to do with Christianity. So when you come and start your Christian prayers, it's like a slap to them in their face. Because here we are also working with ancestry. Okay? Ancestry. And especially if you are Hispanic. Okay? If you are Mexican, you have that ancestry within you. So you're calling on your ancestry powers. It doesn't mean that if you are African, you don't have that. Doesn't mean if you're Caucasian, you don't have that. No, because we all come from two original seeds. Okay, remember that we are we come from two original seeds. So we all are tapped in one universal conscience. So it doesn't matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, or stuff. But when I talk about the language, that's where we Hispanics, especially Mexican descent or Mayan descent, have an advantage. Can it be learned? Yes, it could be learned. Anything could be learned. Um, another question was, what things can we do in spiritual work? Whatever you can think about, whatever comes into your mind, it could be done. Whether it be good or whether it will be bad, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's your thoughts, your emotions, okay? In your imagina imagination, imagination, emotion, and it's your energies that you are sending out there. Once again, most of my videos that you're going to see will include a type of spell because it's a learning channel. And a lot of, you know, and it's just not about Santísima Muerte or Misikasiwa. Misikasiwa, it's about 
different cultures and different belief systems okay so once again you'll have a blessed night any questions please feel free to contact me and the link that i will post in the comments below